I'm going to talk today about divine love and divine wisdom, the very essence of the Lord. Now, how best to illustrate this by, by referring back to the Big Bang theory. Now, in order for there to be life, we need two basic elements, carbon and oxygen. Now, for carbon to be formed, three helium nuclei have to meet at the same time. Now, scientists struggled to try to work out how this was the case, because in the original kind of gas, if you will, there are not many helium nuclei around. And three had to hit simultaneously. It wasn't possible for two to join. If so, what would have been created there would be beryllium and that has a tiny, tiny life. It's almost dead straight away. Furthermore, if the third nuclei would have struck those two chances are would have destroyed it anyway. So in order for carbon to have been formed, three helium nuclei would have had to have hit at the very same time. Three. And this shows, I feel at least, what divine wisdom is all about.